I'm happy. Um, I think it's justice for Maddie and for my family, and I'm so, I'm so thankful for Bernie and the state attorney's office. It was a very emotional day today for two families after Josh Phillips, Maddie Clifton's killer, receives a life prison sentence for the second time. So the Supreme Court decision ruled it unconstitutional to impose a life sentence on juveniles. So Phillips, now 33 years old, was granted a resentencing hearing, but once again he was sentenced to life in prison. And First Coast News Shelby Danielson is live tonight at the courthouse with more on why we may see this case again. Shelby? It's not over. That's the message from the family of Josh Phillips and his defense attorney, Tom Fallis, who says he plans to file an appeal after the judge denied his request for a shorter sentence for Josh, 40 years, including time already served. For the family of Maddie Phillips, though, as you can imagine, they were elated to say the least about this decision. The courtroom silent as Josh Phillips walked in smiling to his family. It's appropriate to uh, you know, look at them and tell them why you're doing what you're doing. Before handing down the decision, Judge Waddell Wallace took time to explain his 30 page document detailing what led him to his conclusion, calling the case unique from other child murder cases. This was such an outrage. This so affected the community. When Phillips was called to the stand, Wallace made it official, imposing that life sentence again. Hi, Mr. Phillips, it's a sad day for me. I have had to go through this process and I'm just trying to do my duty the best I could. But the Cliftons breathe a sigh of relief. At first, um, it didn't sound like it was going to go very well at all. Maddie's mom, standing next to her other daughter, Jessie, spoke out for the first time in years. I feel so good about this. I really do. He can't hurt anybody else ever again. Never. No one should ever have to go through this twice. The Phillips family asked for privacy Friday, but Josh's older brother Daniel spoke with us before the hearing. I have to be there for him now. He says his brother is a changed man. It devastates him every day, and, and he has suffered in, in there. He says while his family is in pain, they also feel for the Cliftons and highly respect them. I can't imagine what they're thinking, so I try not to sometimes. And I respect Jesse and admire her a lot. She's, she's a very... Uh, She's a very kind soul. You know, I appreciate everything he said to me, and I, I commend him, you know, very much for what he said about me. And I think he's a wonderful person, too, and my heart goes out to him and his family. Her mom echoes that sentiment. I do feel sorry for his mother. I really do. And I, I, I love her because she is a special human being, and she, it is not her fault. Before leaving the courthouse, she held up pictures of her daughter, happy, she says, justice was finally served. She was something else. And I miss her so. Now, regardless of an appeal, Josh Phillips will get a review six years from now because after 25 years in a life sentence, that's automatic. So that's when he will hit his 25 year mark. Maddie's family says they'll cross that bridge when they come to it. Live at the Duval County Courthouse, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News on your side.